Hey, welcome back, folks. It's the big box stores. It's a massive price cut, except for these products. We're going to get into that today. Now, thank you for joining me on Survival Preparedness for Beginners because today is about what is about to take place that I've been telling you all about and everything else. And you need to reframe yourselves and give somebody your credit card and try not to overbuy because they have gone and done it. And we're going to start right off with Walmart. Cue the fireworks, folks, because Walmart just dropped its epic 4th of July sale. Save up to 60%. Yes, look at that, folks. And this was updated today, Wednesday, June 29th at 8 this morning. I told you it was coming. They're going to make these deals so good that you will not be able to resist. And that's their goal because Walmart is probably one of the ones that is the most overstocked in goods out of all the major retailers. Target is also having a large problem too. They're all trying to get rid of their heartaches that they have right now. And they want you to buy them. Let's just look at this, folks. The 4th of July deals right now. Now, a lot of these deals and stuff from a lot of these different companies do run through the middle part of next month. So you do have time. You have time to make sure you make your purchases and everything else. But you can start right off here. You get a Vizio 40-inch smart TV, 50% off for 198 bucks. Go figure. Beat headphones discounted to $140. A Google Nest doorbell. That's more than 60% off. And the... It just keeps going and going. Look at this. You can get Hamilton Beach Bread Maker, 49 bucks. Hey, if you got a big enough battery bank, you can run that bed boy and make bread. I'm just saying. That's where you got to start thinking, folks. As you can just see, as we scroll down through here, the deals get even better. I mean, look at this. You can get a 50-inch TV for $450, 55 for $439. You know, if you need a new TV or something, maybe you're shit to bed or whatever, now's the time to buy the same goes as if you do need like new appliances. The question you have to ask folks is how long has this stuff been sitting around? Now, if you do go and figure out how to read the inside the tags on appliances, it will tell you when it was made. So it gives you an idea of how long it's been around and how many miles it has on it right now since it probably came over from China, sat around for a while on a boat, then finally got unloaded. And once it was unloaded, sat around for a little bit more longer. Then it finally made it onto a train that probably got stuck somewhere. So then it set on, you know, a little bit longer. And the next thing you know, well, then it got put on a truck to be taken to a warehouse. So got to the warehouse, probably sat around a little bit longer, and now it's being shoved into all these stores where it's probably been sitting around for a little while because they don't have anywhere to put them, and they're just waiting for you to come and buy them and take them away. So let's move on down the line here. Sam's Club, another one. All right, they're having a big 4th of July TV sale. Everybody wants to get rid of TVs, so what do you think they're overstocked on, folks? It's TVs and appliances. All right, Sam's has got these huge deals going on on TVs. They got pages and pages and pages of them. You know, I mean, it's just amazing. You know, I mean, they just want you to buy these bad boys right up. <clears throat> now let's move on down to Costco. All right, now Costco is running sales and it started on June 22nd. So they got a hit start on the deal, all right, through July 24th. So they run longer than the prime days, all right. So they're trying to really rake in the cash and get rid of themselves. So my estimate is that Costco has a lot of product that they need to get rid of also. Because why else would you be running a sale for 32 days and you're giving, you know, a lot of money off on some of these things. And if you notice, I like how they put limits here. Because, I mean, they're giving you so much money off. They're putting limits but you scroll through, you know, thousand dollars off, hundred and fifty bucks off, two hundred dollars off, two hundred dollars off, two hundred and fifty dollars off. Just keep going. If you need appliances, you know, twelve hundred dollars off a refrigerator, you know, 
200 to $1,500 off, $900 off, $750, $700. You get the picture here, folks. They want your business. They're taking a lot of money off some of these items and stuff because they're hurting. The same, BJ's, all right? You scroll right down through. Appliances are a big thing because they've been setting around the longest, folks. 160 bucks off, 190, 350. You know, it goes right through 330, 340, 390. You know, I mean, the sales and stuff are all there. Now, Target is actually doing it a little bit differently. All right. They do have a few little sales that are going on this weekend for 4th of July and all that kind of stuff. But hey, you know, it's not really that big of a deal to them because they have the deal days coming, baby. And that's on july 11th through the 13th which just so happens to be oh the same time as amazon prime days wow so let's see what's going on with that all right right here targets massive online sale runs from july 11th through the 13th this year of course it happens to overlap neatly with amazon prime days somebody got on the ball on that one Somebody just got a raise, which will take place July 12th and 13th. But Target isn't the only retailer coming in hot with rival sales this month. And you notice they give you a keyword there, folks, hot, because this stuff has been setting in those hot containers for God knows how long before they made it to a dock somewhere and to a store. Nostradam, Walmart, Best Buy, we got Costco, we got BJ's, we got Sam's, and plenty of other retailers and brands are planning to slash their prices to keep up with Amazon. All that competition means more savings for you, especially if you shop around. See, they're telling you folks, they want you to spend your money. They want you to take out your credit card and they want you to run that and run it up as high as you possibly can. As I did say in the beginning though, folks, okay, these big box stores, these massive price cuts, and what is it on any of these lists? Food. No, you're not saving any money on food. Forget that, folks. They're going to keep taking that, and they're going to keep running the food prices up, but they're going to lower the prices on all the stuff that you probably just don't need. Like I did say in the beginning, if you do need a new refrigerator, if you do need a new stove, if a new wash machine, maybe you do need a new TV in your home, then by all means, this could be the one time this year to buy this. These sales are probably going to be even better than Black Friday. As it states right here, forget Black Friday, the best sales of the year might just be in the summer. Right there. Right there, folks. Forget the Black Friday deals, the best sales of the year right now. So if you do have to spend your money and you need those kind of products, now's the time to do it, to save money, to maximize your money that you work so hard for and this way here, maybe you can use the other part of that money to buy the real high dollar tickets, and that is food. Just saying, folks, the proof is in the pudding. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but, you know, as you can see, everything is, it's either cordless, wet and dry vacuums, TVs, it's appliances, um steam mop i mean do you see food anywhere i don't see food anywhere does anybody see food no noise canceling headphones um yep still no food you can get a memory phone pillow um Oh, we got video games. You can get some video games, smartphones, uh, kitchen appliances, and those type of things. Oh, and clothes. Um, now we're into hair care and stuff, toothbrushes. Um, nope. Sorry, folks. No food. So you pay high prices for the food. You can get everything else dirt cheap. 
So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and thank you for joining me on this video today. I want everybody to stay safe, keep prepping, and make sure that you're going with the mindset of, do I need this or do I want this? And make sure that you are shopping around to get the best deal for your money because the deals are now, forget Black Friday. If you need these products now, buy them now and save yourself a ton of money. You'll thank me later. Trust me, folks. Do your best. Be diligent with your money. And till next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.